welcome back children and today i'll be discussing the board paper pattern okay i have put it in the form of columns so you have question number the types of questions that can be asked it's not fixed okay there can be a variety of types of questions that can be asked then i have put the total marks okay without option that is compulsory marks and with options also i have uh, put another column with marks the first question that can be a variety of questions but the most common one is choose the correct option and complete the statement now remember you cannot just write the answers okay you have to write the complete statement put your answer into the statement and draw a box okay with a pen draw a box or double underline only the answer make sure that you have underlined the right answer and not any other word by mistake okay if you write only the answer you will not get any marks you have to write the complete statement another type of question that can be asked here is find the correlation for example india bengal tiger brazil look at the correlation here so brazil has jaguar okay then find the right group now which of these is wrong you have to see and the right one you have to pick up or find the wrong group now read the question properly because uh, a lot of marks are kept for application okay so here you have river narmada tapi godavari they are all rivers in india so fine river juruaka river two cantons and river kaveri now kaveri is from india so that's a wrong uh, wrong uh, group altogether river chambal luni indus parana Okay, this is again a wrong group. So the right group will be Narmada, Tapi, Godavari. So you will write answer one right group one Narmada, River Tapi, River Godavari. Okay, so this is the way you will write. Now you may get two choose the correct option and two some other type of question. There are variety of questions that can be asked, or you may get four statements for four marks directly. Choose the correct option. Okay so read the question properly and answer the questions well do not uh, do not write short answers try to write complete statements for objectives it's compulsory four marks no options so you have to do all the four then question number 2 okay now question number 2 is match the columns it could be any of these there can be two from here and another two because there are four marks for this or all four could be match the columns okay variety types of questions depends and it can change match the columns so here you have to write column a say if you have 1 2 3 4 and column b do not write 3 2 a c b that way just write the correct answer in column b no need to put any numbers at all okay so that's match the columns if there are four for four marks or it could be two match the columns there could be two find the odd ones or there could be four find the odd ones only okay it's all it all depends on the paper setters find the odd one pick up the odd one give the heading i would say write the heading find the odd one and number one suppose whatever is the odd one write the answer the odd one there okay then answer in proper sorry arrange in proper order for example arrange the physical features of brazil as we would find them as we move from north to south okay so in the north of course we have the guiana highlands first followed by the brazilian highland sorry the amazon river then the brazilian plateau then comes the great escarpments and right in the south you have the pampas the grasslands Okay so here you have to think don't just write okay okay i know okay think and answer well great sorry then complete the chain here there will be three columns a b and c so you have to write a column as it is okay then uh, write the answer write the correct answer in b column and the correct chain continuation in c column okay so that is how we complete the chain then find the wrong pair now here we have for example mahogany is an evergreen forest pau brazil sorry pau brazil himalayan forest the wrong pair is so you have to write wrong pair if pau brazil himalayan forest 
okay so this is the way we uh, you may get objectives so again another four marks for objectives so if you are right most of the time you can score eight on eight here question three can be named the following again four okay so it could be there will be an option here so name the following so there will be five you have to name any one answer in one sentence there will be five you have sorry you have to answer any four not one okay then state right or wrong now don't simply write true or false since they have mentioned right or wrong please write right or wrong i would advise you write the statement and below that write right or wrong okay don't just write number and write number say like two wrong number three wrong write the statement don't write in front of it write below it answer right answer wrong in that order that way then differentiate or find similarities differentiate i would advise you make two columns to differentiate rather than two uh, two paragraphs okay because uh, th there may be possibility that you will forget to write the exact uh, exact point for the other one and remember writing in points is a must geography paper has to be in points so here when you write uh, differences you have to write in points try and write four for two marks it's two marks each okay so i would advise you to write at least four points unless there isn't any point at all and write complete statements then or find similarity same way so do not write only words make sure that you write complete statements okay then comes question 4 locate the following in the outline map now if they give you location india then for map reading it will be brazil if they give you to locate brazil then you will get locate india okay or uh, read the map of india vice versa so it could be both ways they will not give you both from the same type now this question locate the following in the outline map provided you have to go to the supplement the map supplement and the graph supplement that is given there okay and use any one map for location do not use the other map okay not for any reason not even for uh, stencils etc if you want to use you want to show something from another question like a give reason or a long answer no okay if the map is uh, locate the following in india use only map of india uh, you have to do any four out of six okay so be sure if you want to get 40 on 40 i would say don't do all six because in case you do something wrong then naturally people will say oh you are not a sent person child but the four that you know best okay please do those four only and that too now suppose if number 1 is the great escarpments okay so you will also on the map have to write number 1 suppose if great escarpments is number 4 and you have drawn great escarpments you have to write number 4 on the map okay and in the index add number 4 or rather when you write the index suppose you have done 1 4 say 5 and 6 so 1 4 5 and 6 add 4 you won't write 1 2 3 4 you will write the same number which is in the question paper so 4 draw the proper symbol for greater escarpments you can't just draw anything any color we normally use brown for mountains okay plateaus we use yellow plains we use green and mountains in brown so therefore you will have to use brown color there are proper symbols there are symbols specially for mountains mountain peaks capitals so learn those properly i will try and do a few maps so let's hope i can give you some of the maps as revision okay so there are proper symbols which you have to use you cannot make your own symbols there are proper symbols for mountains there are proper symbols for plateaus etc etc or color shading okay so out of 6 you have to do any four the same number that you are uh, that's on the question paper should be also in your index then read the map and answer the questions any four out of five okay so read the map carefully do not be in a hurry if you are solving four say 1 2 3 and 5 so please write 1 2 3 and 5 if your number goes wrong here and it's not matching with the question paper you lose that marks so it's very important to write the sub question number in the answer sheet correctly okay so here again you have 4 out of 5 and this is the question where most of you lose marks the rest everything is perfect 
okay but maps and graphs these are the two places which where you have to watch out for the next question 5 is give geographical reasons there are four options you have to do any two three marks each so you have six marks for two questions uh, suppose if you can write four points okay the board normally expects four points half mark each suppose if a particular one does not have four points at all and you cannot break it into any more points okay then the board will expect two marks but try and choose questions give reasons where you can get four points okay so four points for two uh, total three marks then uh, uh, half mark each four points are expected okay there are no sorry there can be uh six marks three marks are there so six points can be there mostly we don't have six points then four points at least are expected okay or in case there aren't i am sure there will be enough of points to be written and give reasons you may even get six points because normally they have half mark each point okay so and if possible if there is a particular question where you need to write you can use a stencil use a stencil these two questions uh, okay question 5 and question 7 answer in detail these are the two places where you can use a stencil and in fact the introduction says sorry my dog is barking <laughs> okay so you'll have to excuse me for that so uh, using a stencil is a must because in the uh note notice on the top they do write use stencil where ever possible so where ever possible use think a little bit if possible use a stencil for example here suppose uh, i've given you a question okay western coast of india has fewer ports why does western coast of india have fewer ports so immediately you can draw a stencil here even in differences okay differentiate between eastern coast and the western coast or eastern coastal plain western coastal plain so you can draw a stencil here if there's a short note say for example about great escarpments you can draw the use the stencil and show the great escarpments wherever they are located pantanal wetland etc etc okay so use of stencil does guarantee full 40 on 40 then question 6a is draw a graph with the help of the given data and answer the questions given below now this is for 3 marks drawing and 3 marks questions based on this will my dog ever keep quiet okay so 3 marks for drawing and 3 marks for the questions now here you need to draw the scale okay you need to draw x and y axis with labels suppose x axis is years y axis say us dollars okay it exports imports in us dollars so you have to mention exports imports in us dollars then try and take proper scale okay i would advise you in tens hundreds thousands in that way so that each line you know each millimeter will be easier for you to calculate okay unless it's huge numbers like in lakhs it could be lakhs as well so 1 lakh 2 lakh 3 lakh 1 cm equal to so you have to mention on the top x axis represents years y axis 1 cm equal to say uh, 10 lakh us dollars or 10 us dollars or whatever the unit may be then uh, also remember to start the where the uh, origin where the x and y axis meets that has to be zero after zero suppose you take 10 then there has to be 20 30 40 you can't just start with 10 and then take 50 60 80 whatever you want okay if you say 1 cm equal to 10 that mean 2 cm equal to 20 so please remember there you can lose marks i would advise you instead of this question easier way to get full 6 marks is this b option so don't do both i will not advise you to do both i would advise you to do the b one okay because here it's simple read the graph carefully and answer six questions you have seven you have to answer six so it's easy that you will get all six marks write complete statements don't forget to write the units okay that is where we lose marks in graphs so it's simple and write complete statements do not write just the answers do not forget to use units okay because here again is where cent percent children lose marks maps and graphs and if you have not used stencils 
okay at least one question there will be or two questions where stencil can be used so use the stencil and the last question so remember if there is graph option i would advise you the b option not the a option because some way or the other we go wrong while drawing the graph and uh, based on that if our graph is wrong then the answers also will can go wrong so b option is the best option and question 7 answer in detail any two out of three and if you want full 10 percent marks i would say if you are 100 percent sure with two answers attempt only two do not attempt the third one options are okay for those who are not sure with the answers okay then suppose they get two here and they may get three in the next question so for them it's okay but if you are 100 percent sure with your answers and for four marks here you have to write at least eight points okay at least eight points unless there aren't any points and four points is a must otherwise eight points with the use of a stencil if possible so try and apply your knowledge and see where all you can use stencils okay so that's that makes the paper for 40 marks in the next video i will explain to you the internal marks weightage and also how to answer your geography paper well okay so thank you and god bless you